Hey, welcome. My newest addition to my saxophone mouthpiece hoarding collection. Seriously, I have a lot of mouthpieces now. Let me show you. Ah. I had even more, but I gave them away to my students at the University of Memphis during my DMA. Three days ago, I actually played this mouthpiece for my first time. I like the aesthetic of it. It kind of looks like Spider-Man, if Spider-Man played saxophone. Can you imagine slinging G major sevens to get across the buildings? I can. <laughs> Okay, what an interesting sensation. So right off the bat, I can feel a strong projection, particularly in the higher register. It also feels horizontally more narrow, if that makes sense. Like in my mouth compared to the Meyer, I feel more vertical action going on, maybe because I have this uh, mouthpiece patch on. This mouthpiece comes with a patch, it's much uh, thinner, so maybe that's what I'm feeling here. I really like it. Since then, I've been committing to it, and I really, really like it. Now, the vision behind this mouthpiece was by Chad Lefkowitz Brown, and this vision was brought to life by Jack Fanukin, who I actually visited at the Boston Sax Shop a few months ago. Right on the spot, he just gave me the mouthpiece. I was like, oh, thanks, man. So I'm gonna compare my previous main mouthpiece to this one, and you let me know your thoughts. So my honest thoughts on this mouthpiece, I genuinely feel like it can do everything that my Meyer can, but just has some extra strength. Feels like a lion. Like, oh, ah. I just like it. It feels like I just went to the gym, but it doesn't sacrifice any of the softs either. I feel like I can play it as tender as I want to. Projecting on it is easier, really takes my airstream, but the tone quality is still very similar to what I originally fell in love with out of this Meyer. So it feels like what I'm already used to, but with enhancements. Kind of like jumping from iPhone 12 to iPhone 14. 
<laughs> Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching this video and thank you so much for 197,000 subscribers. Wow, I can't believe it. Have a good day.